Look, look, look. <laughs> hey, ready? Get it. It's that way. In this video, I'm gonna share with you five reasons why you should be contributing to Adobe stock. Uh, but first, let me see if I can get this camera working right. Go get it. Look, look, okay, come here, baby. Get it. Hey. <gasps> that was not working. We get it. So the first reason you should be uploading to Adobe Stock is because it is one of the fastest growing platforms out there. I started with them years ago when it was Fotolia or Fotolia. And from then to now, it's incredible how fast they're growing. Uh, now they're my second best seller and they're catching up quickly. So there you have it. They're growing quickly. Huh? Bambi. The next reason you should be uploading to Adobe Stock is because they pay a little bit higher than most other stock agencies. Uh, some of the other ones pay you six cents, four cents, 10 cents. And with Adobe, the least I've gotten lately, it's about 38 cents, an average of a dollar, sometimes more. So that's another reason why you should be uploading to Adobe Stock. They do pay a little bit more than the other ones do. Huh, Bambi, hey. Bambi. Hey. The next reason I suggest you upload images to Adobe Stock is because they have like a, let's call it a contributor bonus kind of thing. I'm sinking in the tree. Every year they will buy the images that you haven't sold in the last 12 months and put them in the free section for a year. But they'll buy them for like five bucks a photo. So it's a great way to build your portfolio and still get paid for the images that they select. Uh, earlier this year, I made about 500 bucks from images that I hadn't sold in the last 12 months. And then they recently introduced their new Firefly, the train AI system. And that was another 500 bucks. Now I know of other contributors that are full-time uh, stock photographers and they made over $3,500 as a bonus. That's a brand new camera. <laughs> that's a great bonus every year. So that's another reason why you should be uploading to Adobe Stock. They do take care of their contributors. Hey, <gasps> stay, look, come here. No, don't come here, stay. Baby, <laughs> right here. The other reason why you should be uploading to Adobe Stock is because it is a great way to get Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop for free. Every February they have a program where if the year before you reach a certain number of sales, then you qualify to use Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop for free. So why not give it a shot? I mean, it, that, that's $120 a year in savings. Try it. I feel the buffer. Okay, you ready? Hey, this way. Bambi. And then the fifth reason why I recommend you upload to Adobe Stock is because they're so easy to upload. To look at your stats, it's super easy. You can see what's selling, what's not selling. The numbers make sense. Come on. It's just such an easy agency to upload, super quick uploads, easy to submit your photos. Unless you want to get complicated with the keywords, which I don't, <laughs> I don't change the order anymore. I did that for a little while and I didn't see a difference. So the easiness in uploading photos is to me one of the most important reasons why you should be uploading to Adobe Stock. Hey.
And there you have it, five reasons why you should upload to Adobe Stock. Now, if you're wondering, what am I doing with the Rebel T1i? This is the camera I bought uh, in last week's video. It kind of broke a little bit and I still have to give it a little bit of a tap to get it to turn on sometimes. <laughs> Over the years, I've accumulated quite a few cameras and this was my very first camera ever. And when I used this for stock photography, it never worked. All my photos got rejected. Uh, the easiness of use was not there. So I bought it again used to see if I could do an experiment to see if these photos well Bambi to see if these photos can get accepted and also the main reason is to help you understand the limitations of the camera and how to overcome them so if you're interested in learning a little bit more about how to make photos work with equipment like this <laughs> uh, subscribe to the channel don't forget to give this video the like and uh, we'll see you next time bye by the way, some of these photos, it is way too dark today. <laughs> I don't know how many are gonna be in focus, but I do have an idea for an action shot with the Rebel, which is gonna be awesome. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Damn, B, look at this. Look at, oh, you're out of focus. You're blurry. What happened? Don't move so fast. You need a little bit more light.